three. It's a great pleasure to be with you for the very first leg of the World Archery Indoor Series for 2023-24. We have five events coming before the Indoor Archery World Series Finals in Las Vegas in February. Other events coming up are in Luxembourg, Chinese Taipei and in France. So looking forward to uh, following all of the tournaments coming up before the finals in early February next year. Glenn Lam is my name. Thank you for joining us. And in this session here at the Lausanne Challenge, we will be having the bronze and gold medal matches in the women's and men's compound and then the women's and men's recurve. So we are getting right to the business end of the challenge here in Lausanne. And the scene is set what should be some exciting archery. Well, the archers will be shooting from the standard 80 metres in the indoor format of the sport. And those target faces, uh, remember, are uh, slightly different, of course, to the outdoor version of archery. The 40 centimetre targets, we will have a 10 ring measuring four centimetres in diameter for the recurve archers and just two centimetres for the compound archers. We're going to start it off with the bronze medal match in the compound archery. So the coaches are all set and we're going to have the, the two women coming out to compete. First, all the gold medal matches held shortly. So outcome Bailey Sargent of Croatia and Andrea Robles of the Philippines. Both the archers aged to 25 and have had good tournaments here in Lausanne. So Bailey Sargent from Croatia was the top qualifier with a score of 594 out of a possible 600. And Robles was the third qualifier. Both were in good form until they were beaten in their semi-finals by two Italians. So we're going to have an Italian, an all-Italian final. That will be coming up shortly, but it's going to be Sergeant against Robles for the bronze medal, and it's going to be Sergeant to go first. Nine, not, uh, not comfortable at all, really, at the uh, first hold there. Long hold for Sergeant. So the door slightly open here for Robles early, and she takes advantage. Again, another long hold, but she has the 10. Nine. No. That one's just missing. So, tight score line to start this match between these two. Interesting start, particularly for Sergeant. And that's grabbed the 10 line as well. No. A tight first end with Sergeant and Robles. Wait for the judges' confirmation now is uh, Sergeant. Here's Robles, a 25 year old from Philippines. And Sergeant has a world ranking at the moment of 66. 
Wins over Alexandra Schmidt of Switzerland and Miriam Hasler of Switzerland for losing to Paolo Natale of Italy by two points in the semi-finals. Robles here lost in a shoot-off in her semi-final to Marcella Tonioli of Italy. So Robles, other than that, had wins over Maria Gomez of Spain and Isabella Carpenter of Great Britain. Her world ranking at the moment is 86. And Robles is uh, a former World Indoor Series champion, having won that title back in 2019. And Sergeant won it in 2020. So these two have had excellent success in the World Series previously. And a very experienced archers in this format. So it's 29 apiece. Start the match. Sergeant to go first in end number two. Robley is very stable on the shooting line and looks uh, rock solid in that uh, bottom left target. Oh, nice comeback from Sergeant, but again, a very long hold, which is... As we've seen, not unusual for her in this match. So these two going arrow for arrow pretty much at the moment. The sergeant using pretty much all of the 20 seconds available per arrow. So Robles to keep the match all square needs a 10 which she achieves. So 58 apiece. After two of the five ends, four tens each. Sergeant was in great form during qualification. 594 is a touched on 54 tens in there from a possible 60. Robley is... Uh, 45 tens in her qualification, so just slightly below. But Robles has scored 148, 148, 147, as I touched on earlier. Sergeant not hitting her best form in the semis, scoring just a 144. So she will need a, uh, I'm sure, in her own mind, sticking in her own mind, will, will need a score higher than that if she wants to win the bronze medal here in Lausanne. So in number three now. Been very tight so far. I'll see if one of these two can take a stranglehold on this bronze medal match in this third end. Nine, well, that's the third end in a row now. She's open with a nine. nine Nobody's also just dropping below the that two centimeter 10 ring. She's uh, going to have to put that one out of her mind. It's uh, clearly an arrow she would have liked closer to the centre.
That's a nice comeback. Robles can take a one-point lead if she can do what she has done in the last two ends, and that's finished with a 10, and that's exactly what she's done. Good arrow there from the archer from the Philippines. Certainly looking relaxed on the shooting line. And uh, for the first time at the end of an end, we've got a, a leader, but only just. It's just a point, but... Sergeant just a, perhaps not quite hitting her straps at the moment. Sergeant has medaled at uh, outdoor archery World Cup of events and youth championships, Europe, European youth championships in the past, both in teams events. Robles has had success too outdoors on the Asian Grand Prix circuit, winning two silvers and two bronze, dating back to 2018. But uh, both of these two have had success, the greatest success in their careers here indoors. So 87 plays 86. It's uh, Robles in front by one. Heading into the fourth end of this bronze medal match. Hope you're enjoying it here from Lausanne. Well, it's been well attempted. I'm just wondering whether that's just uh, dropped a touch below there for Sergeant. I'll just wait for clarification. Oh, there's no doubt about that second one there from Sergeant. Yeah, it looks to grab the, the line on that one. So last arrow of end number four. It's all locked up at 106 provisionally. Big arrow here for Sergeant. Again, not finding the 10 zone as regularly as she would like. So now Robles to preserve her one-point lead. Yeah, looks like it's just grabbed the line. Good stuff there from Robles. So at the moment, it's 116 to 115. That first arrow of Sergeants. If it is a 10, it would have only just grabbed the line, but of course, an archery, that's all it needs to do. Robles kick on here and win this bronze medal. So it is a one point game confirmed. So 116 to 115. Robles knows now that she, if she can score three tens in a row, will be enough to win the bronze medal. But if Sargent produces her best form, Then who knows, we might be going to a shoot-off. Let's see. Touched on, Robles has uh, already in, been involved with one shoot-off, losing that semi-final 10-9 to Tonioli of Italy. Sergeant to go first in the last end. Nine, well, the door's now... Just that ever so slightly open more ajar now for Robles. Well, Sergeant needs two tens. Nice 
not going to get it. So one or two arrows left here for Robles. But that bronze medal is now within grasp. Especially with that 10. Perfect time for her to extend her lead by another point. So one arrow left here for Sergeant. Must be a 10 to have any chance. It is a 10. Let's have a look at this last arrow from Robles. It's going to be a 9 or a 10. Will be enough here for Andrea Robles. And she finishes in style with a 10. It's going to be bronze for her. Very composed archery there from the 25-year-old from the Philippines. And uh, she now can smile and walk away with the knowledge that she will be winning bronze. Oh, it's a very solid effort from her. 145 to 143. It looks to be the full tie, the full score, the final score rather. That's exactly what they are, the final scores, 145 to 143. So not the highest scoring bronze medal match. Hard luck there for Sergeant Kuhn of Croatia, who uh, performed really well in qualification, but just couldn't uh, kick on in the business end. Well done, though, to Andrea Robles. She has got the bronze medal. Well, solid effort from Robles there. She actually scored 29 across all five of the ends of that match. So finished with 10 tens and five nine. So pretty consistent archery from Andrea Robles of the Philippines. Next match is going to be the gold medal match in the compound. And now come the coaches of the two Italians who will be competing for the gold medal here in Lausanne. So these two Italians have done particularly well to get through to the final, clearly, with uh, three wins from their three matches, both having buys in the first round. Here come the two Italians, Paola Natale and Marcella Tonioli. Twenty-three years of age, world ranking at the moment of eighty. Marcella Tonioli, experienced archer, has been as high as world number two back in 2012. Current world ranking of 31. And uh, Natalia has uh, performed well, beating Lenaric of Croatia, 146 to 140. Natalie Dielen, 144 to 140. And then beat Bailey Sargent in the semi finals, 146 to 144. Tony Oli had a tight win as he touched on against Robles in that semi-final, beating her in a shoot-off, 10-9. And then scores of 145 in her two previous wins. So Natalia to go first in the gold medal match. She qualified in fifth place for the match play, and Tony Oli was second. Just three points between them. Both start off in excellent form. Ten, it looks 
like it's grabbed the line as well. So Natale is a good start for her. Again, they're going almost arrow for arrow again. Now, Tony Oli. To end the first end. That's a good finish. So, Tony Oli and Natale. Nothing to split them after the first of the five ends. Both have had a, a little success in indoor archery. Well, Tony Oli actually has a, a bit of success with win in the Indoor World Series back in 2020 and uh, also medaled in European Indoor Championships five times back down through the years in teams and individual competition and of course uh, she's a former gold medalist in the World Archery Outdoor Champs as well winning two golds back in 2013 and 2011 in teams competition so she has a, a lot more experience, been older, of course. But here's Natalia, who's a much younger, but a highly promising archer as well in compound. So going to be fascinating to see who emerges here. And yeah, we haven't had that question confirmed at all because the two are tied after the first in at 29 apiece. So let's go to win number two now. And it's going to be Paola Natale to go first. Good start again. That's her 13 from four. In fact, grab the 10. So, chances are that score is still locked up at between the two archers. Now, Tony Oli can find her range here. Adjustments are just uh, doing the trick for Tony Oli at the moment. Looking for that perfect end to really Nine. put a bit of pressure on. And Nine. that's a, an arrow that Natalia would love again. Just uh, staying in the nine zone. Nine. Nine. Tony Oli. Can't get the 10 that she was looking for. That would have given her maybe a two-point lead. But we'll just wait for those arrows to be confirmed at Natalia. Now we'll just be looking to relax those arms, just get back into her happy place. And look to see if she can make some improvements going into the third end. for those uh, confirmed scores at the moment. Provisionally, it's 57 piece, but it looks like Tony Ole now might be upgraded one arrow to a 10, and it is. See her score screen there showed a total of 58, and Natale on 57. So that's where we are at the moment. It's a one-point lead to the archer on the right of the screen there, Tony Ole.
So ready to go within number three now. Tully again to go first. Oh, well, that's the third end in a row. She started with a 10. She want to be more consistent now. Tony Ole has uh, just uh, let Natalia back in here. And that's very good archery. The first perfect end we've had here in this final session. And we're going to have a uh, at least a two-point swing here. Tony Oli just looking at slightly unstable there, and three nines has uh, completely now changed the context of this gold medal match. A one point deficit for Natalia has now turned into a two point advantage. So brilliant archery from her. Taking full advantage of Tony Oli, just not looking as settled and as comfortable on the shooting line there. Last arrow has been scored a nine star for Natalia. So let's see if that's been upgraded to a 10. It looked pretty good. And if so, it will be a two point game with two ends to come. So six arrows left. So plenty for Marcella Tonioli to think about here. And it is a uh, two point game. So 87 to 85. So Natalia here, can she hold her nerve? This would be big for her. She's not uh, stood on top of the podium individually in world archery before. So this will be big for her. She's only six arrows away from achieving it. So she will want to reflect and repeat what we've just seen in that th third end. And Tony Oli will want a big improvement after those three nines. That's better from Tony Oli. Tully is starting to really sh score consistently now. It's a seventh 10 from 10 arrows. And Tony Oli again just drifting to the left. Wow, well, that's not the. Haven't, we have seen that arrow before from Natale. Getting her radar a bit off that time. Oh, that's better for Tony Oli. So Natale can preserve her two point lead here with another 10. And she just dropped below. So that's going to be. A one-point game. One end left. And Tony Holly again would be still seeking a uh, really solid scoring end. We haven't really seen her at her best just yet. And of course, there's three arrows to come. Tony Oli can produce the maximum 30 here, then it's going to be all on. So just 
just a little uh, analysis going on of that last arrow from Natale, but it has been now confirmed as a nine. So it's going to be a 115 to 114 scoreline. Tony Oli with the deficit. So she seems comfortable, happy, enjoying the challenge of being out there and competing against her compatriot. And she's been a great archer down through the years as Tony Oli. She's touched on two gold medals at World Archery Championships. She's medaled three times at World Cup Finals and won numerous medals on the World Cup as well. 18 times she's medaled, five of them gold. And now she's going to need to draw on all of that experience here on this last end if she wants to win the gold here in Lausanne. Perfect start for Tony Oli. And just like that, the scores are locked up with two arrows left. Oh, she's starting to heat up at just the right time. Can Natalie go with her? Well, there we are. It's a one arrow contest for the gold medal here in Lausanne. Well, the door is ajar again for Natale, a 10, and she will be the gold medalist. Nine. It's a nine as well. Nine. So we're going to a shoot off to the side, the gold medal. That's a tense ending right there. So, well, it's been tight all the way through. And Natalia will probably reflect on this maybe at the, after three ends. She did lead 87 to 85, so maybe there was a... Uh, Big chance there for the younger of the two Italians to, to move through and win the goal, but you've got to give Tony Oli some credit here for eliminating that two point deficit. So the Indoor World Series stage one going down to a shoot off in the women's compound. This is the second shoot-off in a row that Tony Oli has been involved with. She uh, won her semi 10-9 against Andrea Robles, who we saw a short time ago win the bronze medal. So confirming it's a 143-143 match. So low scoring. Encounter, that's the lowest score that uh, both have notched up in this competition through the four matches that they've played each. But none of that matters now because it's all down to this one arrow. Closest to the centre wins. Who's going to who's going to be that that archer? Is it going to be Paola Natale or Massi, Marcella Tonioli? It's going to be Natale to go first. And that's a nine. So she'll be bitterly disappointed. Tony Oli has a, uh, a big opportunity here to grab a gold medal. Nine. Oh, hang on. I reckon Natalie might have it. Two nines, Natalie. Tony Oli. Had a big opportunity there, but hasn't taken it, I don't think. We're just waiting for confirmation. Natalia now waiting as well. 
There she is, it is Paola Natale, who's got the win in stage one of the Indoor World Series for 2023 here in Lausanne. Dramatic match, and she wins it. Both archers getting nine, but Natale closest to the centre. Great match for her. So well done to Paola Natale winning gold. Marcella, Tornioli, the silver. And earlier, it was Andrea Robles of the Philippines who got the bronze. Well, always exciting when a match goes to a shoot-off. And uh, it's where the nerves and the steely determination always wins through. So well done to Paola Natale. Who uh, has finished a, a very fine tournament. Congratulations, Paola. Gold medal. How do you feel? It's a great feeling. It's the first time I win an international competition. It's your first podium on the season. It was a tough match. Uh, second round, you managed to pull it around, shooting a 30, and then you pull a tie. Can you tell us how do you manage to win the gold? Um, the X? Uh, it was really difficult. I worked a lot. It wasn't a great year, so it was more difficult. And what does this mean going forward in the season? Uh, I hope to do really well in other uh, leg of the, the indoor series and I uh, hope it does well this, this season. Great. Thank you again and congratulations on the win. Yeah, awesome win there for Paola Natale of Italy winning here in Lausanne, the women's compound competition. We're going to move to the men's compound shortly and we'll have the gold medal match coming up a little bit later. And that will uh, feature two pretty fine archers as well. And Nicolas Girard of France up against Mike Schlosser of the Netherlands. It's uh, going to be a terrific match. But uh, in a moment, it's going to be Matthias Fullerton of Denmark up against Federico Pannoni of Italy for the bronze.
Ah, oh, pretty impressive interlude there in between matches of the Mosan Challenge for 2023. Hope you're enjoying it. This is the first round of the Indoor World Series for this season. Looking forward to not only the conclusion of this match here, but well, this tournament rather, but moving to Luxembourg next month, then on to Chinese Taipei in December. From Neiman, France in January, and then to Vegas in early February for the finals. So let's uh, now move to the men's compound. And now come the archers for the bronze medal match. The Price Fullerton of Denmark. Here he is there, the 20-year-old. Well, the world's best at the moment for sure. World ranking of five currently. He's a former world number two. And Federico Panni Pannoni, rather, of Italy. Yes, Fullerton. Pannoni. He's 35. Now ranking in compound of 71. He's been as high as 11 back in August 2021. Fullerton, though, he was the top qualifier. 599, only missing the maximum score by just a point. And he's had scores through the matches so far of 150, 149, 150, and 149. They're dropping just the two points in his four matches. Panoni. Scores of 147, 150, 147, 148. Qualified in sixth place. Fullerton to go first. Damn. Fullerton semi-final loss to Nicolas Gerard of France. What an amazing match that was. 150 to 149. Oh, Panoni looks like uh, he has grabbed a 10 there to start this match as well. Ten, Fullerton, as we've seen over recent years, has climbed rapidly up the rankings and is no question one of the world's best at the moment. Fantastic start for Fullerton. Three very solid tens. And, well, you could say for Nonny, he's maybe not been as decisive with his arrows, but he's got the same scores. That first arrow being provisionally scored a nine. Certainly looked like it's grabbed the ten zone for Panoni. Panoni has... Uh, Some good records behind him and medals behind him. Silver medalist at the 2017 World Archery Championships in the team's competition. And he's medaled on uh, over 10 times in World Cups as well. And Fullerton, though, well, he's a former World Youth Champion. Former European Youth Champion as well. World Cup Finals winner in 2023. So Fullerton has been uh, been the one of the world's very best. So Panoni's first arrow has been upgraded to a 10. So we are locked on 30 out of 30. So both achieving the perfect score at the first end. Fullerton to go first and in number two. Oh, this is fantastic archery from these two so far. The slightest 
of mistakes. Fullerton a longer hold this time. Oh, and that could be the one that decided. You just never know. And it was uh, something wasn't quite right there for Fullerton. Whose rhythm was outstanding up until that arrow. But that last arrow of the second end. Let's put a ring around that one. In the meantime, for Nonny, just solid. How can he carry on with the stop? Nonny might need it too because Fullerton is a heavy scorer. Fullerton put that arrow behind him. So it's going to be a one point game 60 to 59. The Italian with his nose in front here in the bronze medal match. So in number three now. Again, it's Fullerton to go first. And that's more like it from the young Dane. Pagnoni is in a real rhythm right now. Well, there's a flinch from Pannoni. First one in the match. It's taken eight arrows. So back to a perfect end there for Fullerton. And a nice comeback there from Pannoni. Let's go. Both archers now having dropped a point. Just the slightest... Set up. There's enough to just leave that arrow out. I'll leak that arrow out of the 10 ring. Remember, that 10 ring's just two centimetres wide. It is tiny. But the archers are shooting from 18 metres, remember. So, for Nonni and Fullerton, nothing to split them so far. So, a lot of these matches, of course, decided by composure and execution of how you shoot an arrow. So Matthias Fullerton and Federico Pannoni locked in an intriguing battle here for this bronze medal. Fourth end. Oh, slightly longer hold there for Fullerton, but he recovered nicely and he's happy with that last arrow. Second perfect end for him in the match. 
And there's the second, in fact, the third perfect end for each of those archers now, sorry. So nothing to split them. A high standard of archery executed by both again. And we're down to a three arrow contest. Well, it's tight and tense. None of Fullerton's matches have been decided by shoot-offs here in Lausanne. He was uh, beaten by just a point in that last match. 149 to 150. Nicholas Shira has been on amazing streak in this competition. And, uh, well, Pannoni has been involved in one shoot-off back in the quarterfinals. Beat Marco Bruno, another Italian. I mean, they were locked up at 147 all. And Pannoni and Bruno both getting 10s, but Pannoni was closest to the centre. So here we go. It is the final end now of this bronze medal match. Fullerton with the first arrow. Well, that's it. Eight arrows in a row after Fullerton's blemish. And quick release that time from Panoni did the trick, though. So last arrow now. Score's still tied. Dead centre from Fullerton. That one's got authority. So it's down to Panoni. And he responds beautifully. Excellent match here, 149-149. So we're going to a shoot-off to decide the bronze medal. Pretty much watched that all day, couldn't we? It was just rinse and repeat from both. Excellent. Both dropping just for one point in the match. It's down to a shoot off to decide the bronze medal. Well, let's have a look at the nerves of steel here. A win percentage and tie breaks for Pannoni of 44%, Fullerton 41. Now, that's across all competitions. It's uh, outdoors at 50 metres, so let's see. Now, it's a completely different format here indoors. It does indicate whether these two uh, have got the composure to go on with it. So, Fullerton to go first in the shoot-off. Well, that couldn't be more dead centre, could it? Amazing from Fullerton. And that is slightly higher, so it's going to be Fullerton with an amazing arrow in the shoot-off. He couldn't have placed the arrow any better from just a couple of centimetres out. Brilliant from Matthias Fullerton. What a win for him. Well, he's put the disappointment of losing his semi-final behind him and bounced back with a win. By the barest of margins against very fine archer, very fine opponent, Federico Pannoni. But Matthias Fullerton, the 20-year-old from Denmark, another podium finish in his young archery career, which continues to go from strength to strength. He wins the bronze medal here in Lausanne in a shoot-off.
what a wonderful last arrow that was from Matthias Fullerton. Absolutely outstanding. And Panoni, no disgrace in finishing in fourth place here, though, as we get set now for the gold medal match here. And this promises to be another beauty as well. Between the world number one, Mike Schlosser, and the world number nine from France, Nicolas Girard. Well, Girard's been in brilliant form in this Lausanne competition. Here's Mike Schlosser. He's no introduction. The 29 year old. And Nicholas Girard, 13th in qualification. Schlosser, second. Girard, these are his scores through the matches, the four matches that he's won here to get through to the final 150, 150. 150 and you guessed it 150 he hasn't dropped a point in any of the four matches that he has won that is outstanding schlosser has dropped just two points he went 150 150 149 149. won his quarter final in a in a shoot off against mario vavro of croatia it's going to be schlosser to go first in the final So Girard, can he maintain this amazing streak that he's had in this competition? Can he hold his nerve? And he's only just got that 10 to start. Very close. Ten, wow, that's very solid from Schlosser. Girard to match him. Ten, and I get the feeling this is going to be a pattern of this match. Girard has been in amazing form as he touched on it. 60 arrows he's shot in this competition. 60 tens. It's incredible. And Schlosser here. Not far behind him either. With 58 of his 60 arrows. In fact, 61, of course. He needed one extra one in that quarterfinal. Girard, can he carry on? He might need another perfect match here to beat Schlosser. Just 23 years of age. One of the best uh, indoor archers in the world, Girard, no doubt about that. Looking back through his record in recent years, two golds, two bronze, two silvers in the Indoor World Series. And he started the latest series in imposing form again. Schlosser, of course, has pretty much done everything in archery in all formats. He has won gold, of course, in outdoor archery, field archery, indoor archery. He's done it all. So is this uh, final going to be a war of attrition? Because archery, you can't control anything. 
on the other target. You've just got to go through your process and execute again, again, and again. And hope that your opponent makes a slight stumble. There's no sign of that from Slosha at the moment. So very, well, a perfect start for him. Now Girard to match him. Well, perfection from both so far. Well, it's all about just staying calm and going through your process and good to see both archers relaxing. Very important to just hit the reset button after each end and then get back your, your game face as Schlosser is doing right here. this match to be high quality and both these archers are delivering right now and will it continue though in this third end don't forget we have the recurve matches coming up this is the last of the compound matches this one for the gold medal and then we'll be into the recurve matches starting with the women the bronze and then the gold and then we'll be moving to the men so Schlosser to go first at end number three here of the men's compound final. Nine. Well, there Seven. is the first stumble. Schlosser opens the door for Girard. Ten. Ten, dix. Ten, dix. Well, brilliant performance again from Girard. He is showing no signs of wavering whatsoever. Hope I haven't just put the curse Ten, on him. Dix. Well, that nine, though, in that end. Will that be the difference in this match? Could be. No. Oh, no. There's Gerard, whose streak of tens has finally ended. Well, 60. Let's count them here. 60, 66, 68 tens in a row. Here in Lausanne for that man there, Girard. Finally, the pressure gets to him, perhaps. And he finally, the streak is broken, but an amazing streak nonetheless. Stand on the shooting line and try and score 68 tens in a row. Well, that's what Girard has done. Amazing effort. But. It's game on still. Tied after the first end here in the final. Tied after the second. Tied after the third. So both archers on 89. As we head to the fourth end. Six arrows remaining in the contest. To see who wins here in Lausanne. On stage one of the... World Indoor Series for 2024. The final's coming up early next year in Las Vegas.
10, 10. Well, that's more like it from Mike Schlosser. Ten, oh, wonderful performance again from Gerard. And margins are so small between the top compound archers in the world. And that is the case here again in Lausanne. Remember that uh, bronze medal match was a 149 tied gut match between Fullerton and Fanoni. Are we heading for another 149 tied match and another shoot off? Well, if that happens, it'll be a thrilling finish. But. Will the pressure of the moment get to one of these two? So, last three arrows here of the gold medal match between Nicholas Gira and Mike Schlosser. Ten, dies. Ten, dies. Oh, that was a tight one. For Schlosser. Ten, dies. Gerard. Has got nerves of steel. So last arrow of the match. Ten, no doubt about that one. So now Girard needs a 10 to send this to a shoot off. Ten, and he dies. matches Schlosser dies. arrow for arrow. Great performance from both. We get to enjoy the chase of the Tight one of those arrows from that last end, but they come through with flying colours, both of them. And both have dropped just a single point in the match, just like the two that competed for bronze. So we're going to a shoot off. Second shoot off of this tournament for Mike Schlosser. First shoot off for Nicholas Gera. And uh, it is for a gold medal, a one arrow match. Well, an outdoor competition, Gerard's conversion of uh, shoot offs is actually pretty good 67%, but he's only been in six tie breaks. Schloss has been in 53, winning 23 of them. So his winning success rate in shoot offs is just under 50%. Of course, none of that means anything now. So let's have a look here at these two. It's a one arrow shoot off for gold here in Lausanne in stage one of the Indoor World Series. So Mike Schlosser to go first in the shoot off. Well, that's almost dead centre. Girard is going to need one dead centre, I reckon, to beat that. Fantastic arrow from Schlosser. Ten. Yes, it's going to be Mike Schlosser. He's got the goal and a fantastic performance in the shoot-off. Maybe his experience came through there, Mike Schlosser. But it's going to be a win to him. Another one.
indoor world series but only just against a brilliant frenchman nicolas shira who was fantastic all the way through the all of his matches but just by the barest of margin stumbled at the end but mike schlosser needed all of his many years of experience to come through and win in fine style so the world number one is victorious here in Lausanne. Well, a great match of Mike Slosser winning and Nicolas Schirra of France finishing in second and of course Matthias Fullerton winning in the bronze in a shoot-off. Mike, congratulations on the win. How do you feel? Um, at the moment I still cannot believe it. Uh, I just came off. I'm super happy, super proud of the first tournament of the year and uh, coming off with a win, it feels really good. You both dropped a point in the third set, maintaining you in a tie through the whole match, leading up to a shoot-off. How did you manage mentally to stay focused and hit that 10? Just uh, keep it shot by shot, just make your best shots possible and uh, just like keep fighting for it. Like I felt really secure all week, weekend and I, I'm really happy how I shot. You're world number one and a few more reserve ranking points from here. How important is this to retain that spot? I think like I, of course winning points here is all, it means a lot to me because uh, that will uh, give me some points for that boosting that world number one. Thanks again and congratulations. Thank you very much. Yeah, Mike Schlosser, what a pro he is. Very good win for him. And he needed all of his skill and experience to achieve it. So wonderful effort from Mike Schlosser. So now we're going to move to recurve competition. And that will be coming up shortly.
Well, I hope you're enjoying the coverage here of the Lausanne Excellence Challenge, the first stage of the Indoor Archery World Series for 2023-24. And uh, congratulations to the two winners so far. Mike Schlosser, who did a brilliant job to win the men's compound, and Paola Natale of Italy, the women's. We now move to recurve competition. And now come the coaches for the bronze medal women's match between Rina Panat of Estonia and Sarah Russell of Great Britain. Here they come, Sarah Russell and Rina Panat. Russell, 30 years of age, Panat at 29. Panat being uh, from Parnu. Booing internationally in 2011. Sarah Russell doesn't have the experience of her Estonian rival in this match, but it's done brilliantly well to get to the bronze medal match. Both of these two losing their semi finals. Panard only lost in a shoot off to Laura van der Winkel of the Netherlands, the top qualifier. And Sarah Russell beaten by the other finalist, Denisa Barankova of Slovakia, six. Set points to two. So let's see who will prevail here for the bronze medal. It's going to be Paranat to go first. Of course, the big difference between compound and recurve archery in indoor competition is that that 10 ring has been doubled in diameter. Eight. To four centimeters. Nine. Nine. Both uh, again uh, shooting from 18 meters. Eight, maybe nine. So for the first set, Parnat looking comfortable. The three-point buffer, very quick release there. Goodness me. She had hardly set herself, but it's still going to be good enough to win that first set. Nine. Nine. So it's going to be a 27 so again, we're to 25 to score line. Panat has uh, quite a bit of success in indoor archery. She has competed in one indoor championships, world indoor championships. Got a bronze medal back in 2016 and a World Cup stage. Has competed in field archery and uh, outdoor archery, of course. Has uh, represented her country twice at Olympic Games. And has been capped 11 times at World Championships down through the years here as Rina Panat. So she's a real stalwart now of the Estonian archery community. And Sarah Russell, of course, uh, we've seen a, a growth big time in the performance of British archers on the world stage. And uh, she is moving up the rankings herself. At the moment, not as experienced on the international stage. So let's see if she can produce her best here in set number two. Eight. 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 Well, both archers yet to settle. Just one ten in the match so far. Both have uh, now... Shot four arrows. 
Nein. Ne. Ten. That's better. This. Much more comfortable on the shooting line this time for Panat. So she will not going to score a 26 means Panart can win set number two with a, with another nine, nine and she's done just that. It's a so solid archery here from Panart just uh, executing a touch higher. She will win that set 27 to 26 and take a four set points to nil lead. The Estonian, who's currently ranked at 107 in the world. As I said, uh, lost that shoot-off, uh, lost her semi-final in a shoot-off. It had comfortable wins in her previous three matches. Sarah Russell, who finished seventh in the qualifying, had a bye in the first round, and then had six set points to four wins over Louise Davis of Ireland and then Aiko Rolando of Italy. So here we go with set number three. It's going to be Russell to go first again. Nine. No. Oh, still no tens on her scorecard. Ten. This. And that's uh, Panart's third. So... Uh, Tana can wrap this bronze medal up with another win in this third set. Eight. Ten. Yeah, Pana starting Eight. to really find her range now. So Russell really needs a 10. She hasn't had one yet. That might no. stay no tens in the match. So just a seven or higher needs to get this on the target pretty much. And she'll yes. win. And there it is. Yes. So it's going to be a bronze here to Rina Paranat yes. of yes. Estonia. Yes. Well, comfortable win there for the Estonian. Yes. Who finished with four tens from her nine arrows. And Sarah Russell, who uh, did superbly well in qualifying and winning two of the matches to this point, get through to the bronze medal match, was finished in fourth place. So last set score 28 to 26, and it's Estonia's Rina Pana who wins bronze by six set points to nil. So getting set now for the recurve women's gold medal match here at the Losan Excellence Challenge. Stage one of the Indoor World Series for 2023-2024. Uh, two young archers who are rising up the rankings who will compete against each other. Laura van der Winkel of the Netherlands up against Denisa Barankova of Slovakia. Target one representing the Netherlands, Laura van der Winkel. 
Van der Venkel just 21. World oh, ranking 19 two. currently. Slovakia, Denisa Barankova. And Denisa Barankova of Slovakia. Of He's 34 Denisa in the world Julia at the moment. Dunker. So, here we go. Should be an interesting match, this one. Anna Winkel is the top qualifier with a score of 575. Barankova third with 573. Just two points behind the Dutch archer. Anna Winkel, though, was uh, taken to the brink of defeat in her semi-final before she won in a shoot-off against Rina Panat of Estonia, who we've just seen win the bronze. Denisa Barankova beats Sarah Russell six sets points to two. So here's the left-handed Van der Winkel to start off the, the final. And she starts Peace. off in style. Nine. Nine. Both archers are quite experienced as uh, despite their tender ages. Ten. Barankova, for example, has already represented her country at an Olympic Games. That was in Tokyo. Five caps Ten. at World Championships Dies. as well. Van has uh, been to a Youth Olympic Games and been to three World Championships. Ten. Well, that's a brilliant start for Van der Winkel. That will win the first set. Outstanding performance from her. But Ankova not too far behind, to be fair. But 30 is always a good number on a scorecard in a set of recurve archery. You can't beat it. Well, have a look at their indoor records, too. They had uh, Van der Winkel compete in nine indoor world series events and Barankova 10 and neither have podiumed before so are broken through here both of them will be on the podium but what will the color be of their medals well, that's to be decided over the next few minutes but what a start here for van der Winkel She's excited and uh, very happy to get that 30 out of 30 underway. Will it carry on, though? That's the question, as we see Barankova. Who, uh, let's not forget, in her first set just a moment ago, also got three scores in the yellow. Ten. Oh, yes. That's a beauty. Her second 10. Nine, nine. So Barankova now looking good to strike back and win the second set. Needs a nine or higher. Ten. And why not get a ten? Fantastic response from Barankova. She responds with a perfect set. So they started as perfect scorer for the Slovak. Wrong message sent by Barankova back to Van der Winkel there. Now this is going to be a very absorbing match if uh, these two continue to output. The same from here. So 30 to 28. Barankova is going to win the second set and lock this match up at two each. Ready for third end. Well, both archers look very determined. 
and focused. Van Winkel to go first in set number three. Ten, this. Nine, love. Well, it's admirable that all the arrows. He's uh, two a shot so far. And all the yellow scores. Ten. And we're right uh, deep into the match now. And a winkle now then side of another perfect set. Ten. This. Well, that's good from Barankova. Van going to have to produce another gem here to win the third set. Ten. And she does. Yes. Oh, fantastic. This is just momentum shifting perfectly back to the Dutch archer here. Nine, nine, oh, Van der Winkel, her second perfect Seven. step. Laura Van der Winkel with another perfect score of 30. So let's see if Barankova can respond again. If she can, we'll be heading to a fifth and deciding set, but Vanna Pinkel's put herself on match point. So if she can win this next set, she'll be crowned champion here in Lausanne. Vinkel is, uh, as I said, it produced an excellent oh, score in qualifi oh, qualifying. Pressure in her semi final came Kevin through that in a shoot off against Parnard of Estonia. Barankov has been more comfortable, but the quality of her opponent certainly appears higher in this one. Be the Slovakian to go first. In the fourth set. Ten, this. It's a six, ten. Van of Inkel has seven so far. Nine. No nine arrows. Nine. Make that ten now. Nine. That's no. a nine. He's but uncovered there or thereabouts. Van Winkle needs a 10. Ten. And she's got one. This. So now this is a big arrow here for Barankova. Needs a 10 to preserve herself in this match. Ten. She does, this and she bangs one right in the this. dense center. That's a brilliant arrow from Barankova. So at worst, she's going to share the set. Anna Finkel will need a 10 for that to happen, ten. and she does get yes. that. A very good last and arrow from the, the Dutch Archer. So a high quality and of scoring here between these two. So that one is going to be a tied one at 29 all. And take the set score to 5-3 to three in favour of Van der Winkel. She had set in the last set. Won't be enough for Baranka, but she needs to win it. Take it to a shoot off. But she is a more than capable archer. Seven tens on Barankova's scorecard, nine on Van der Winkels. None of that means anything in the sets format. So here we go, fifth and final set in the women's gold medal match here at the Lausanne Excellence Challenge. Denisa Barankova to go first. Ten, this. Ten. 
10, 10. Wow, that's just brilliant from both. It, uh, clutch time as well. Wow, what fantastic archery from Van der Winkel. So Barankova needs a 10. Again here. Ten. She Dies. delivers brilliantly. So to win, Van der Winkel, another 10 will do it. This for the gold. Oh, she's just missed it by a couple of millimetres. Extraordinary. We're going to a shoot-off. Well, Van der Winkel's hold there was just a touch longer. Well, what a brilliant end to that match. What a time for Barankova uh, to produce a perfect set. Going to be enough. Off, uh, Not win it, but it keeps her uh, in with the chance. So it was uh, an iron, and that's why we'll have a shoot off in this. Ten chance for Barankova in that match. Recurve. 11 to Van der Winkel. So it all comes down to the shoot off. And it is Laura who will open the score. Closest to the centre wins. Van Avinkel won her semi final in a shoot off. So she has that experience to draw on. No shoot offs required for Barankova. She's won all of her matches with some very solid performances. So let's see who. Prevails here. Barankova on the right. Van der Winkel on the left. A one arrow shoot off for the women's recurve title. Laura Van der Winkel to go first. Nine. No. Wow, well, Barankova. Van der Winkel won't be happy with that. Let's see if Barankova can get closer to the centre. And win the title. Ten. Ah, yes. Denise. She can. Denisa Barankova of Slovakia has got it. In this competition is Denisa And you have to hand it to her. She was Slovakia. never in front in that match. Vanavinko sees the first set. Barankova came back and then we did the same over the next two sets. We had a tight set in there as well. Really good performance from Barankova. Absolute nerves of steel. Fantastic composure from her. She wins. The title here in Lausanne with Laura van der Winkel getting the silver. And earlier, Rina Panat of Estonia won the bronze. But you have to hand it to Denisa Arankova. Faced severe scoreboard pressure on several occasions during that match, but handled it superbly well. Congratulations, gold medal. How do you feel? Well, I mean, amazing. It's great to be on that stage. It's really beautiful. I enjoy it, and it's just um, all shaky, so it's, it feels amazing. You came from behind to win that match in the shoot-off. How did you manage the pressure to take the gold medal? I just tried to focus on the things which I always focus on. So I tried to stay here and now, and that, that helped a lot. Now with this win, what are your thoughts as you look forward for the rest of the season? Um, that's a really nice question. Uh, 
I think this is a really good start to the season and hopefully I'm going to be able to do that in the next few months. So I'm very much excited. Congratulations on your win and thanks again. Thank you. Well, great effort there from Varankova to win the gold. Two matches to come in this session. We've got the bronze men's recurve and then the gold men's recurve coming very shortly here from Lausanne. So stay with us. Welcome the judge and the coaches. Souhaitez la bienvenue à la juge et les entraîneurs. Well, time now for recurve men's action here at the Lausanne Excellence Challenge, stage one of the Indoor Archery World Series. 250 points up for grabs. Please Ranking points up for grabs, by the way, at this event. Bienvenue aux archers. 
The two archers, two Italians to compete for the bronze. David Pasqualucci and uh, Alessandro Paoli. On target one, Sylvain Marin representing Italy, David Pasqualucci. On target two, Sylvain Marin representing Italy, Alessandro Paoli. Judge of this matchup is Victoria Duncan. So Pasqualucci up against Paoli. Scalucci, of course, 27 years of age. We've seen him at the Olympic Games in Tokyo. Experienced World Archery Championship rep, two, four caps. Gold medalist back in 2017 in team competition. Also a former World Archery Indoor Champion, having won that title back in 2016. And Pauli, too, been to three World Championships. Had a win in the Indoor World Series back in 2019. Twice bronze medalist at the Indoor European Championships. He's going to kick things off. Ten. Deez. Long hold from him to start the match, but <laughs> takes a big deep breath, Pauli. Pascal Lucci. Ten. Deez. Using the thicker arrows, I notice as well. Ten, dix, centre ville. Pasqualucci losing to Steve Weiler of the Netherlands, six set points to nil in the semi final. Dix. And had a win, wins earlier over archers from Slovakia, the Netherlands, Willembaka, and France, Anthony Barbier. Almost Nine, a perfect set from Pauli to start. So he's going to lock in 29. Pascal Alucci can grab the first set with another 10, and he's Nine, just missed. It's like uh, so might be a shared set. Pauli here. He's been to three world championships. Hasn't been to an Olympic Games, but experienced archer perhaps doesn't quite have the, the medals that this man has in his repertoire and in Korea. It is confirmed. It's 10 to 9, so they split the points. It's one each. Pauli's world ranking is 50 at the moment in outdoor competition. Been as high as 22. Pascal Lucci, of course, a former world number 12. So, he's uh, dropped down to 108 at the moment. It's Pascal Lucci, so looking to climb back up the rankings. We'll see if he can do that over the next few months because, of course, Paris is looming soon. The next Olympic Games next year. So a tied first set at 29 each. Pauli to go first in set number two. Eight. Eight. Yeah, couldn't settle on the shooting line there, Pauli. Oh dear, that's a miss. Oh, Pascal Lucci couldn't get settled either. So that's going to be a big bonus there Jeez. for Pauli. Well, you have to feel for Pascal Lucci. 
Nine, maybe ten. Yeah, it's going to be a nine net score, but what a blow there for Scarlucci Pally's finished with another ten, it looks like. Eight. Eight. Let's hope uh, Pascal Lucci can recover from that miss. Well, we don't matter what the score on those arrows or on those marks with the asterisks. Put Alexander that behind Bravo. him and move on. That's the beauty of the set scoring system in recurve archery. And this is only only counts in the set that it's that it falls in. So Pascal Lucci can still win this match. And he knows that as well. He's been around long enough now. Did pretty well to come back from that eight that he scored. So, with his first arrow, Pascal Lucci couldn't take advantage. So, 28 was Pauli's score in that last set. So, he leads three set points to one in this bronze medal match. Pascal Lucci to go first. Eight. Eight. Well, two turn tens in his first set. Pascal Lucci hasn't had one in his next four. Nine. Maybe ten. Ten. Deez. That's better. Uh, he'll be hoping he will be able to kick on from that. Nine. Love. So, beautifully poised this third set. Ten. Another ten Jesus. will be just a ticket, and it is a ten for Pascualucci. So, He's still in this match. Ten. Dez. Well, it's going to be a tight set. It seems good last arrow from Pauli. That was so clutch. On that first arrow from Alessandro. The points. Of course, anything less than a ten on that last arrow for Pauli. And it would have been Pascualucci set. And we'd be staring at a tight scoreline right now. So that was big from Carly. They split the points. So we're going to go to a four set point to two match in favor of Pauli. Which means if uh, Alessandro Pauli wins this fourth set, he will win the bronze. So here we go, set number four. These two Italians having a big battle. Ten. Dies. Ten. Dies. Well, Pascua Lucci has definitely put that miss behind him now. That's four tens in a row for him. But Pauli is matching him. That's three in a row for him. So last arrow each now of this vital fourth end. Pascua Lucci. Ten. 
has Jeez. grabbed the 10 there. Brilliant. So he will stay alive in this match. Pauli. Again, another big arrow required from him. Oh, has he just Jeez. missed that? Or has that grabbed the line down that bottom right target? Let's have a look at that one. That is going to be forensically examined, that one. It is confirmed. We have a perfect score on both targets. So it's Looks like 30 each. out of 30 for both archers. That means they According to our once again, it is 5-3 for Oh, a brilliant response from Pauli there, just grabbing the line. But this is much better quality now from both of them. Well, that's uh, four sets done in this match, and three have been shared. Ascalucci hasn't won a set yet. But to take this match to a shoot-off, he needs to win this last set now. But there's great output. This man's have five tens in a row now. Tali four. Can they carry on their no. hot streak? No. No is the answer. Ten, well, that's just a ticket, isn't it, for Pauli? Ten, dies. Here comes Paul Tascalucci. Pauli, can he continue this run of tens? Oh, that left arm's getting Ten. a little shaky. This. Not happy with it, but it looks like it's just grabbed the 10. So here's the last hour of the match for Pascal Lucci. Ten. He's finished with a 10. So to win, it's going to be a 9, nine. or a 10. And it's nine. going to be a 9. And that should be enough for Pauli to win the bronze here in the men's recurve. Good match between these two. Waiting for confirmation. On that second arrow there of uh, Pauli's. But he's been the more consistent of the two archers, that's for sure. But only just. He's got the magnifying glass out to have a look at that one. Is our target judge. It's a close call. So this may not be done just yet. We go into a shoot-off. It's going to be a shoot-off. There and you go. Well, well, well. That second arrow from Pauli just missed the 10 ring. Another shoot-off. So in this Pascal Lucci match. wins that last set the by 29 to 28. And uh, amazingly Cole. here, this is our fifth shoot off in a row David Pascalucci et Alessandro Paoli une flèche au centre du milieu la flèche la plus proche remporte. isn't it in a row Parnat Russell of course that bronze medal match was won decisively by Parnat but uh, still five shoot offs today so far from seven matches one more to come So here we go. Shoot off with closest to the center to win the bronze medal. Alessandro Pauli to go first. Wow, this will be remarkable. Pauli not Nine. happy with that. Nine. Oscar Lucci gets a 10, he wins the bronze. When he gets a liner, he wins. Eight. Oh. Eight. 
that's a real shame for David Pascal-Lutki. But it's going to be Alessandro Pauli who wins the bronze. Pascal-Lutki just couldn't get the consistency of the scoring that he needed. He had that miss in there earlier as well. Remarkable that he almost won bronze despite having a miss on the scorecard. But Alessandro Pauli, certainly the more consistent of the two archers in that match. He will get the bronze, winning that shoot-off by 9-8. to eight, And finishing third here in Lausanne. We are setting the stage for our good medal match. On prépare le pour notre dernière finale. Well, an intriguing that match, that bronze medal match. Well, we're at our last match now for the Lausanne Excellence Challenge for 2023. And here are the athletes. It is the men's recurve gold medal match. Jerome Beetle of France up against Steve Weiler of the Netherlands. Steve Weiler, of course, the defending World Indoor Series champion. On target one, cible numéro une, representing the Netherlands, Steve Weiler. Steve Weiler, world number 10 at the moment, a former world number on one back in 2018. Two. Cible numéro 2, representing France, Jérôme Bidot. Jérôme Bidot is, uh, Judge well, this is his uh, big is moment. Victoria Duncan. This is sixth cap at the World Indoor Series, and he will be on the podium for the first time. Can he take down Steve Weiler, though, to the defending World Indoor Series champion, silver medalist from the Olympic Games, quarter finalist, of course, at this year's World Archery Championship, Steve Weiler. So he's in pretty decent form at the moment, medaled multiple times in many events. He's won five Indoor World Series titles through his career, and he's after a sixth here in Lausanne, and he's going first. The top qualifier. Ten, geez. And Steve Vila's been in imposing form here too. He's won his matches 6-0, 7-1, 7-1, 6-0. Nine, nothing. And Steve Vila, all of his arrows were tens in that semi-final win over David Pascal-Lucci. Maybe nine. So he's looking to carry on that run here against Bido. 44 years of age. Ten, dies. Had a good one over Alessandro Pauli, 6-4 in the semis. Ten, dies. The Pilots made a great start here. Second arrow has been started at nine, so we'll just wait for confirmation. But it looked like it did grab the line. Well, that will make it interesting because if that second arrow didn't hit the line, then we're going to have a tight set. Great composure, resilience shown by Vito there. Score a 10. Just wait for that second arrow. So, it looks like that second arrow might be a nine by Vila. 
It's wife. confirmed. It's Steve Weiler starting the competition with a perfect score. Ten no, it ten, is a perfect. Taking the first two set points. That perfect means set Jerome for Steve Weiler. Going to shoot first on target two. Jérôme Dutra sur la scène numéro 2 après cette volée parfaite pour le Néerlandais. So Vila wins it 30 to 29. Leads 2 0. This is what the very best in the world do. They can just continue to score heavily. Steve Vila is a uh, very fine archer. Certainly deserves his place amongst the very best competing at the moment for sure. Ten. Oh, a long Jeez. hold. Beat though, but he's not rattled at all. Ten. Jeez. Oh, Violet's just going fantastic here. Nine. Nothing. I might, in fact, be an eight for Pito. Nine, nothing. Wow, that stops an incredible run for Beto, uh, for Vila rather. Nine, nothing. Well, courageous effort from Beto, but Vila can claim the second set with another ten. Ten, he has. He is a pro, isn't he, Steve Feiler? He touched on that semi-final effort of his, where he beat Tascalucci six set points to nil, and he achieved perfect sets in every set. So that's nine tens from nine arrows, and then he starts off here with five from six. That game back through his quarterfinal, he also so Steve Vila. Four sets against Kazdaya Sharman of Switzerland, and again it was all 30s from Steve Vila. A pretty imposing performance from him. And it was the same in the 1 8 eliminations. Incredible. Bernardo Oliveira. So Steve Vila. Up until that nine, which he scored in this set, he had had four, let's have a look here, four, eight, 11, 12 perfect sets in a row. <laughs> that is some serious scoring from Steve Vila. So he leads by four set points to nil. Nine, maybe ten. Ten, ten So Viola's outstanding form is just rolling through here. No one, it seems, can get close to him. Ten. Beto is trying his best. He's uh, <laughs> he is going pretty well. Vila's no, just on another level at the moment. He is scoring like a machine. He would be on the shooting line. Beto needs a ten here. Nine, maybe eight. Well, that's a nine. It may not matter anyway because this arrow here is for the match. Steve Weiler from the Netherlands. Ten. Yes. Steve. 
There it is, a brilliant performance since Me Viola. Bit of ending. Indoor World Series champion gets this part of the fence off to the perfect start here in Mozart. What an opposing performance in all his matches. He's won his matches 6 0, 7 1, 7 1, 6 0, and now 6 0. The Byler from the Netherlands. But his third champion here in Lausanne. Stay with us for the award ceremony and the draw of the tumbler right afterwards. Scores of 30, 29 and 30. He was a very impressive champion here in Lausanne. Great effort from Steve Viler. But Jerome Bido, no disgrace in finishing second. And getting silver, Alessandro Paoli of Italy. Getting the bronze in the men's recurve here in Lausanne. Steve, congratulations, gold medal. How do you feel? I feel really excited. Uh, I think this is the perfect start of my new indoor season. You seem pretty confident in winning the match in straight sets. You were nervous at all? Of course I'm nervous. Uh, I've never shot against the man that was up uh, against me. He told me this was his first time shooting uh, a competition like this. So this is always uh, very exciting also for him. So I think we, we did a nice show. Wow. Also, you won the World in your Series Finals last year and you started the season with a win. What does this mean going forward in the season? I'm just going to take it event by event, so I'm going to do the best I can and hopefully I can remain the form that I ended off last year with. Great, thank you so much and congratulations again. Well, great job done by Steve Viler and congratulations to all the winners that have uh, we have seen in this session today. Great job by all of the Winners in all the categories. Steve Weiler of the Netherlands, of course. Denisa Barankova of Slovakia. Great win for Mike Schlosser in a shoot-off over Nicholas Girard in the men's a compound competition. Good win, too, for Paola Natale of Italy, who won gold in the compound women's title. So thank you for joining us here from Lausanne. We hope you enjoyed the action from Stage 1 of the Indoor World Series for 2023-24. Good news is the next one will be coming up soon. It is in Luxembourg, which is between the 17th and the 19th of November. We hope you can join us then.